What is up everyone, and welcome to the 16th episode of TPL Response Season 7. Today is July 5th, 2024, and before I start, I just want to let you all know that around during this evening, I am going to be heading over to a restaurant to have dinner there at 7pm, and it will be very good in there. So anyways, for today's response episode, I am going to be doing a response to Moonstone's 4th of July special commentary on my 4 hour and 56 minute response on JG's 4 hour and 52 minute quadruple commentary on me. And in this video, I am portraying as Tony Braxton, a singer, songwriter, actress, and television personality from Severn, Maryland, in America. And since this commentary video that I am doing a response on is 4 hours and 59 minutes long, I am going to be splitting this video into four parts. So basically, for part one today, it will be the first one hour and 20 minutes long. Tomorrow, part two will be the next one hour and 40 minutes long. On July 7th, part three will be the next one hour and 30 minutes long. And finally on July 8th, part four will be the last whatever minutes there will be. So with that all set, let us now roll up to this 4th of July special commentary video of his. Off we go. A 4th of July day special is coming your way folks. It's me, Moonstone the YouTuber guy is now back for some more entertaining content on this channel. This time, today's commentary, will be addressing the ridiculous arguments made by the panther lover, which is on his response on JG's 5 hour commentary on him. Well, it wasn't a good commentary though because his response to JG was a piece of shit. So overall guys, Let's get right to it then without any further ado. What is up my friends, and welcome to a brand new season of my TPL Response series, called TPL Response Season 6. Today is June 2nd, 2024. Back in May 31st, 2024, me and my parents have all went out for a while and came back from another funfair called Carnival Thrill, which was located at another GAA football club, not the old one I went to back in October 31st, 2023, or should I say, Halloween 2023 to watch the firework event from 8.45 to 9 p.m. at the pitch black and dark night, but it was actually the new GAA football club. And speaking of the old GAA football club that I went to back in October 31st, this is also another reason on why Halloween is one of my favorite holiday of all time, because of the firework event at nighttime to celebrate the best holiday. Well anyways, I wanna talk about that fun fair I went to from two days ago. Well, the fun fair I went to two days ago was really good, but it seems to be a wee bit small, because of the fact that there weren't that many rides in there. They only had five rides, called the Waltzer, the Classic and Nostalgic Octopus, the Kitty Rides, the Swinging Chair Ride, and the Zigzag, the Sizzler to Point Zero, and there were also to Game Things, and the Food Stall. And there was this attraction that I found and was my favorite one about that fun fair I went to. I have saw the Haunted Mansion in the fun fair, and it is one of my favorite walking through attraction in that fun fair I went to. And I have also seen some boys and girls go inside the Haunted Mansion, and I bet that some of them were scared of the animatronics in there. And also there were some creepy and eerie ghostly sound effects in that haunted house. Ooh, spooky right? And this is yet again another reason on why Halloween is my favorite holiday of all time, because of the haunted mansion at the fun fair, and the creepy and eerie sound effects in the haunted mansion. And then, on our way home, we went over to get me some food. And in there, I got a white candy floss in a bag. And it tasted so sugary and sweet. And yeah, that was pretty much the story about my time at Carnival Thrill at the GAA car park. So anyways, for today's response episode, and also for the first response for TPL Response Season 6, this is going to be on Amazing JG's 5-hour commentary on my 4-hour and 52-minute response video on him. And in this first response episode of Season 6, I am portraying as Sky Holland. Because I think she is a beautiful singer, and she has such a great singing voice for whenever it comes to her singing. And since this video of his is 5 hours and 32 minutes long, I am going TP have to split this video into 5 parts, so basically, every 5 parts will all be 1 hour long each. 
So this means, part one of today will be the first one hour long, and I will be explaining the next parts after this first part. So without further ado, let us now kick off with this new season. Off we go. As soon I get to December more, second RETOT 2K24, and a still day, I am doing this commentary. Hi there people watching, and welcome to the 27th episode of TPL Response Season 2. Today is February 10th, 2024. Three more days to go until my brother's birthday. whoop de doo we are getting even more close. Just like how we were getting even more close to my birthday when it was September 29th, 2023. I hope you all are excited for my brother's birthday coming up soon. So, anyways, for today's response episode. This is going to be on MediaJG's quadruple commentary on me and Foxy the Fox 110. And, in this video, I am portraying as my favorite dance member of diversity, Puri Keeley, in purple and black fading gradient variant. And, since this quadruple commentary of his is going to be extremely long, because the video's duration is for hours and 42 minutes long, so this means I will have to split this video into six parts. So, basically, I am going to be doing the first 55 minutes of this response video, and for parts 2 and 5. It will also be the next 55 minutes of the response video, and then for part 6 will be the last whatever minutes of this response video. And I had to download this quadruple commentary video of his in 144p quality because I do not want my iPad to run out of storage. So, without further ado, let us now begin this very, very long response video. Off we go. No time. One of the things that the Pimple Lover and Foxy the Fox 110 slash Foxy Gaming really make up lies and crap about me, well, they say that I cannot handle sh when I can. That's a lie, dude. So stop the cap. You can't handle shit, dude. What's that supposed to mean? That means that Foxy cannot handle crap. Actually, Gigi, you're the actual one who can't handle crap, not Foxy, or me either, because we can handle some stuff, unlike you. For example, you can't handle me and Foxy telling the truth about you. And you also can't handle the fact that you disrespected my opinion on Foxy back in October 2023, which was the month of me and my mum's birth month, which was, for me, on October 1st, and for my mum, on October 5th, which her birthday is for days after my birthday, and it also had my favorite holiday, Halloween in that month. And the fact that you disrespected Foxy's opinion on me back in November 2023, which was the month of my dad's birth month, which was on November 21st. So basically, you're saying JG like face man to man that he can't handle the crap because he destroyed Foxy's opinion on whatever that is. Well sir, it is true that JG was disrespecting Foxy's opinion on me on her salute on me back in July 23rd, 2023, and also disrespected Foxy's opinion on the end of my response on JG's commentary on Foxy's response on his quote-unquote truth video out of her back in December 2023, after Foxy said wow, this commentary of the Panther lovers rocked, JG said, no, this commentary sucks nugget. And he claims that that thing he said was a mistake, when he actually said that on purpose. So this means that he is using a mistake excuse to get away from the fact that he actually did disrespect Foxy's opinion on the end of my response on his commentary on Foxy's response on his quote-unquote truth video on her. Like fortunately, I don't care what your birthday is because I know what you're actually said. And me and the pimple lover are right about you. You guys are not right about me. You are lying to me. Speeding this up since TPL repeats the same annoying crap over and over again. So suck it up and deal with it. When I can say they mess me, mess, they mess with me 24/7. That's a lie, dude. 
We don't mess with you 24-7. In fact, we don't even mess with you. No. They, they claim that I bash opinions on themselves when yet they use advice term. They claim that I make a prize about them when really I'm speaking truth about them. Dude, first of all, you do bash opinions. Dude, repeat. I didn't ask you for permission to talk in this part. Now shut your mouth up. More. Is this another chain of people interrupting each other? I bet it is. Now, so we're using the vice term in the right context, dude. Advice does a, is all, it's not always an excuse for opinion bashing, you know. <laughs> we're using advice the right way. Me and the people love are using advice the right way. And you actually do bash opinions, so don't deny it. And you actually do make lies about us, dude. Again, repeat. I didn't ask you for permission to talk in this part. Now shut your mouth up. When little and really I mean speaking the truth about them. No, you're not speaking the truth about us, dude. You may get lies about us. Yes, I can, you child. No, you don't speak the truth about us, dude. And you bring up my past as well. It kind of what the fuck? Lies about them when really speaking. The truth. You do make lies about us, dude, and you don't speak the truth about us, dude. You're speaking lies about us, and you bring up my past as well. He claims I made to one of us. Actually, when I made it, it's difficult to take. Imagine you would mistake it as excuse, dude. <laughs> you literally admitted to it, dude. You literally made to one of them, dude. They claim that they are right about me when they're wrong about me. Dude, we're actually right about you. Don't deny it. <laughs> they claim they brought a past when I don't care if it's from the past week. and have to make this community tab post. Yes. What the fuck? Dude, you literally just stole my mom's joke. You know that my mum is the one that owns that joke. And you cannot steal my mum's joke. Man, my mum sure is not very happy because of what you did earlier on. How is he stealing your mom's joke, even yourself? Because, my mom is the one who owns that joke. No it doesn't dude. They claim that they're not making up words about me when they, they really are. No we're not dude. Yes the hell you guys are. No the hell we are not making up lies about you you big dumbass. Blah blah blah. You know, you're really rude. You're what do you mean by that? What I mean about him being rude is that he said blah 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 to me. All because I was being absolutely right about him. So that's how he was being rude like that. After saying blah 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 to me. We're speaking the truth about you. They prove they deny the fact that they make up. And that, and that proves that they do not deny the fact that they make up lies about me. Dude, we never made lies about you, dude. You're, you're denying the fact that you make lies about us, make up lies about us, dude. And you're also denying the fact that, and you're also denying the fact that you just back your opinions. No, you can't handle that, dude. You can't handle the people who defend me. Yes, I can. You're a liar and a coward. <laughs> they claim that I can't handle defending him when I actually can. No, you can't, dude. Yes, I can. You're a liar. And finally, they claim that I- Oh wow, I am so glad that JG did not respond to the part of where I called him a liar. This means that he has finally admitted that he is a liar to me and Foxy. Wow, well done, JG, well done, although I still hate you. What do you mean well done, dude? You're actually a liar yourself as well too because you're refusing to respond to my other commentaries on you. Alright, first of all. The reason why I said well done to him is because he didn't even bother responding to the part of where I called him a liar. And that proves that he finally admitted that he is a liar. And second of all, I'm not always a liar at all. And just because I don't do responses on some of your commentaries doesn't mean that I am a liar because of that. Not every single fact they gave me, they gave me when I, I ain't dying them, I'm saying the, I was just saying the truth. Dude. You're not saying the truth, and you are denying the facts that we gave you, dude. I told you, leave me alone. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you nasty b- so, so don't deny it. Okay, so Foxy the Freaking 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 liar. I'm 
I'm not lying, dude. I'm telling the truth. But you're or actually not handling his opinion for me, dude. The truth is, when I see the parts of you saying you don't spam commentaries back then, you are a freaking liar. Dude, she is not being a liar. You're the only one who is being a liar. Because you claim that you were handling my opinion on Foxy the Fox 110, when you're not. You are basically bashing my opinion on her. So stop denying the fact that you- He's not even lying about you, dude. He's not even making- No! Shut the fuck up, you nasty- He lies about you, dude. He's speaking the truth about you. When will you ever learn to accept that he's speaking the truth about you? And imagine raging in, over in, in caps, or imagine raging in caps over the truth. How immature. You just got mistaken right here. Nobody cares if it is mistaken. Actually, there are some people who are fans of me and Foxy that care if you got that part mistaken. Bashing my opinion on her, when you actually are. And Antoine Dodson has a message for you for lying about handling my opinion on Foxy the Fox 110. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Yes, you are, dude. No! Don't deny it. Why does it look like it, dude? It looks like that you are criticizing my opinion on the wolf lover. You know what? I regret saying that. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Hypocrites much? You claim that I can't handle truths, yet you cannot handle people calling you a furry. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Actually, you're the one who's dumb. Second, another reason is that I changed my account's birth date from March 10th, 1984 to July 18th, 
2010. God, this is like hard. That was in August 22, 2021. Back in May 2022. I mean, last day of April 2022, I, I deleted it. She makes good posts on her community posts. No, you're not. That's it. Take this, you annoying furry. Way around. Idiot. Well, when we both called like back at you, even I'm more. Basically, disrespecting. Frickin', I'm ending the video right here. Bye. Well, this comment here is set. Other way around, free. Unit reverse card plus. Actually, yes. Quit. Calling me a furry. Hell no. Just because I have a fox in my October 2023 profile picture, doesn't mean it makes me a furry. So this proves that you are judging a book by its cover. Because he was basically denying the fact that he was disrespecting the Wolf Girl's opinion. Now anyways, that's the end of the Fox Reacts. And hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Foxy the Fox, one in ten. Uh that commentary was ridiculous and disastrous. It's actually the other way around, you stupid ass clown. Don't know. Actually, yeah. Anyway. What the fuck? Anyways, see you later. Okay, guys. I am going to be going now. And I am going to let my bestie continue on with the next two commentaries on his own. So, goodbye bestie.
Thank you for featuring me in this first part of the triple commentary. You are not welcome, degenerate. I wasn't talking to you. I am not talking about that. I was saying you are not welcome when you are saying thanks. Well, she was still not talking to you when she said that. Plus, rude much? Okay, goodbye, Foxy the Fox 110. Before I get started, I just want to say don't attack this user or I will try him anything. Anyways, let's get started. Uh, this user is making me so angry to the point where I want to play Minecraft and explode him with a TNT because he the fuck, likes to make up lies about me. Dude, if you he doesn't even make up lies about you, dude. He's speaking the truth about you. Oh, fuck. Was well, literally the truth, dude. He is speaking the truth about you. This user. That's okay. Anyways. Well, let's... thank you for handling the pins on him. That's a rare debut for you. That's a rare debut for you, but it's just that. Just begin the rant. The Panther Lover, Miles Morales, C. Diego, and Fortnite Champion Series fan has got to be the one of the worst users I have ever seen in my life. I am going to give you all the reasons on why this user sucks. One, his commentaries are terrible. That's an opinion, not a reason. I'm saying that's I'm saying that's an opinion and not a reason. Cause he can handle hand criticism. And the truth about Foxy the Fox. Actually he can, so deal with it. Cause you say it's the truth about me, doesn't mean it's actually the truth about me. Plus you guys aren't even speaking the truth about me. Well, all I went was doing is in, in this video on me was bringing up my past. And complaining about my content. Again, that's an opinion, not a reason. Dude, I don't even know what to say here. Four. He is the biggest hypocrite and a liar in the planet. He's not a hypocrite and a liar. He's not a hypocrite and a liar, dude. But you are. Don't know. Actually, you are. Example. He claims that I bash opinions, yet he criticizes my opinion. I bet you only skipped that part because you know I'm right. No, because I disagree with you. No. Okay, enough. That's enough. Right now. It's me, Edward the Friday Night Funkin' and Memes Guy 5K9, aka to the, the Panther Lover Hater, Frankie Cunna Disney Hater 2001, and other users like they are worse than Hitler. Where's your proof? The proof is that me makes too many commentaries out of us. That's not poop at all, dude. Seven. Back from months ago. Let's know he makes response videos nowadays. He brings up Jason the YouTube Guy 2. Fives passed by Pass being up a much? Just doing commentary. Well, I'm calling you out for being up his past. Dude. Some videos from two years ago. And that's all the reasons on why he sucks. Who likes this user? Foxy the Fox 110. Who hates this user? AK2 the, the Panther Lover Hater. Frankie Cunn the Disney Hater 2001. Edward the Friday Night Funkin and Memes Guy 5K9, Brady the BFDI fan, Jared the Film Guy, Thomas the Foxy the Fox 110 hater, Leah the Amazing Teen Woman 2K6 slash Leah the Bandori fan 1997, and others. End of. Anyways, that meant set. Anyways, on to next and final video. I'm gonna box response on for the triple fox response. Okay, let us move on to the next video. Intro, please get away from my face already. Because I am so angry right now. First, it was Leah the Amazing Teen Woman to K6 who ranted on me. And now, it is JG that ranted on me with invalid reasons. Let's just begin this response video already. The hell with it. Ugh, this user is making me so angry to the point where I want to play Minecraft and explode him with AGNT because he likes to make up lies about me. If you like this user, that's okay. Hypocrite much. Because you claim that you are okay with people's opinions on me, but yet you disrespect opinions. How? Because you bashed Foxy the Fox 110's opinion on me back on her. Salute on me back in July 23rd, 2023. 
And you also bashed my opinion on Foxy, the Fox 110 back on my salute on her back in April 15th, 2023. Well, what a hypocrite. He's not making up lies about you, dude. Yes, he is. <laughs> He's speaking the truth. And imagine raging over the people who are speaking the truth about you. <laughs> Honestly, dude. How immature can you be? Anyways, let's just begin the rant. The Panther Lover, Miles Morales, C. D. Evan, and Fortnite Champion Series fan has got to be the one of the worst users I have ever seen in my life. I am going to give you all the reasons on why this user sucks. Well, they better be stated with valid reasons. Otherwise, you are going to make up some poor and lame excuses. 1. His commentary is terrible. The pimp lover doesn't even make up excuses, dude. Yes, yes. Shut the fuck up, you nasty. Dude, that is not a reason to hate me. That is just an opinion. Come up with a reason instead of an opinion. No, he doesn't. No! Two. He can't handle any crap like hate, criticism. And the truth about Foxy the Fox 110. That is because they are not speaking the truth about her. I was speaking the truth about her in my rant. No, you weren't. Truth video on her. 3. His content is freaking horrible. Again, that is not a reason to hate me. That is just an opinion. Stop using opinions in your rants instead of reasons. No, he doesn't. Four. He is the biggest hypocrite and a liar in the planet. No, you're the actual one who is a hypocrite and a liar. Hell no, I am not. Actually, you are. It is the other way around. Nah. No! Oh. Five. Speaking of the previous reason. He makes up lies about me. Dude, you are actually the one who makes up lies about me and Foxy. So no, I do not make up lies about you. Well, he never makes up lies about you, dude. Did Foxy admit he makes up lies about me? He speaks the truth about you. Six. He treats me. Edward the Friday Night Funkin' and Memes Guy 5K9, AK2 the The Panther Lover Hater, Frankie Con the Disney Hater 2001, and other users like they are worse than Hitler. Dude, I do not treat you all like you are all worse than Hitler. All I do is to teach you all a strict lesson to never mess with me. Well, the example is that you make too much commentaries on us. Well, he makes response videos nowadays. Okay, I knew it. And also, he, that does not prove, 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 I mean, that's not proof, dude. What the fuck? Dude, stop stealing my mom's joke already, for crying out loud. Again, how he's even stealing your mom's joke. Because, my mom is the one who owns that joke. Just in case he knows it. Seven, back from months ago. He brings up Jason the YouTube guy 2K5's past by just doing commentaries on his videos from two years ago. Dude, I just didn't realize that those videos that Jason made was from the past. Plus, my autistic remembrances is not that good sometimes. Sometimes I forget about something. But at least I now know that those videos that Jason made was from the past. And that's all the reasons on why he sucks. Who likes? This user, Foxy the Fox 110, who hates this user, AK Tooth of the Panther Lover Hater. Oh, I know him. He's that stupid cold-hearted jerk that sent me a very violent threat back in December 30th, 2023. Frankie Con the Disney Hater 2001. A KA, a user who loves to complain about people's intros 24-7.
just like the Federal Express fan 2024 does to my intros. Edward the Friday Night Funkin and Memes Guy 5K9, Brady the BFDI fan, Jared the Film Guy. Oh yes, that stupid person who kept claiming that me and Foxy abused our pets. When we didn't abuse our cats and dogs, even though I don't have a dog, and even though Foxy doesn't have a cat, which I have a cat called Patch, and she will be turning 14 in August of 2024. Thomas the Foxy the Fox 110 hater, Leah the Amazing Teen Woman 2K6 slash Leah the Bandori fan 1997, and others. End of. Well, this rant video sucked. Because he used two opinions instead of two reasons in this rant video. And he was also being a hypocrite. But anyways, I don't have time for the out row for today. Because I have to get working on my 14th response episode for tomorrow tonight. What's up? It's me, Foxy the Fox 110. And welcome to Foxy's Approvals Season 3, Episode 67. And this is another approval in the pinfall cover. Now anyways, before we get started, I just want to say that I, that I know this commentary of the pinfall covers is going to rock. Anyways, let's get started. Hello everybody watching, and welcome back to a brand new commentary video on this channel. Today is December 3rd, 2023. A brand new chapter of Fortnite just started today, and the game is already ready to be Sorry about that, that was my snowmaker. Played. This is all about chapter 5, season 1. And the name of the current chapter and season is called Underground. I have seen the launch trailer of chapter 5, season 1, and to me, it was really good. The map cool. looks really incredible. Possibly one of the best map I have ever seen. And yesterday, I watched the Big Bang Live event on Aoli's live stream on YouTube, and to me, I thought that that event was totally the best Black Hole Remix event I have ever seen. The reason why I had to watch it on YouTube is because I unexpectedly got logged out of Fortnite. I tried to log back in, but I had to wait in the queue for one hour and five minutes, which wasn't really fair. So I had to That's watch sex. it on YouTube instead. But other than that, I still really enjoyed the event. So anyways, for today's commentary, this is going to be on JG the December guy to K10's commentary on Foxy the Fox 110's run on him. And in this video, I am portraying as Alexia Putellas. So, without the delay, let's roll up the video. Lights. Camera. Action. Hey, 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 what's up everyone? It's me, JJ the December guy, 2K10. Imagine copying Foxy the Fox 110's old introduction. I know, right? We care enough to make this commentary video. Well, I certainly do not care. Well, she already said that you cared enough to make that commentary video, you did. Actually, JG, the correct answer is that you cared enough to make this commentary video. And welcome to my first commentary of December 2023. This is also my second commentary on someone's rant on me. The first one was on Nichelle's rant on me in Season 3 Episode 1, the Season 3 premiere, until uh, June 1st. 2023. But the fake account out of this show was a dead topic, but still this commentary is on Foxy the Furious rant on me. Man, will you ever stop calling Foxy? A furry for once. You know that she hates being called that. Yeah. And plus, she is not a furry. Yeah. Just because she used to have a fox in her previous picture didn't mean it made her a furry. And this proves that you are judging a book by its cover, so stop it. To be honest, my prof my prof the profile picture they have for December is that is it is it is an animatronic fox. And let's get started. What's up? It's me, Foxy the Fox 110. And welcome to 
Foxy's Vance, Season 1, Episode 6. And this rant is going to be on JG, the November person, 2K10. Now, anyways, before we get started, I just, I just want to say, if you like this user, I can handle your opinion. Now, anyways, let's get started. JG, the November person, 2K10. Oh my god. This user sucks. No, you. Jude, she was absolutely saying the truth. You are the only one who sucks. Because you keep calling Foxy the Fox 110 a fairy. Yeah. Good much? You're a liar and a coward. <laughs> I mean, disrespectful much? I'm talking about part ways that ugly. And how about you shut up your mouth instead? Which you should know that she hates being called that. How about you shut your mouth instead? And you claim that you handle the minions, but yet you disrespect me. Foxy and Peter's opinions on stuff we like or hate. Yeah. I'm not even lying about you. You're a liar. Shut the fuck up, you nasty <laughs> Yes, you do bash opinions, dude. I mean, we don't lie about you, dude. I mean, me and the pimple lover don't lie about you, dude. You do, plus you do bash opinions. Also, stop. Don't. Say. A word. Shut the fuck up, you And imagine raging over the truth about you. How even immature. Though even though I hate Peter. I can handle your opinion. And I can give you the reasons why. Yeah, I will. He's number one. You lie about my opinion on Wes and Perez because he claims that I support Wes and Perez when I don't anymore. Because I stopped supporting Wes and Perez sometime last year. He's number two. He's a past me rapper because, he's, because he brings up my past. When I have apologized and learned my lesson, Wow, let's give it because I don't know what she's saying. He's number three. Back when the pimple lover had the wolf lover in his username, he called the pimple lover the stupid wolf lover. Like, seriously, dude, that's just disrespectful. Freak? We call him the stupid panther lover. Because we, it's just an idea from someone else, I don't know. I don't freaking know it. Well, that doesn't mean you have to call me that name. Exactly. Because that name is very disrespectful. And oh, quit calling me a stupid panther lover. Yeah. Just because what I love said. panthers doesn't mean you have to call me that disrespectful mock name. Yeah. And you know he's being called that. He's number four. He's a hypocrite because he claims he can have no opinions, yet he disrespected the pimp lover's opinion when he did a commentary on the pimp lover. When he did a commentary on the pimp lover's approval video on me. Wow, dude, what a hypocrite. Lie your much? She's not lying. Yeah. Stop lying. She was literally saying the word hypocrite in the right context. Yeah. Because you claim you handle opinions, but yet you disrespected my opinion on Foxy the Fox 110 on my salute on her. Back in April 15, yeah. 2023. And I even have six proofs of that to show off this claim. Here it is. Shall we? 
Okay, so Foxy the Fox 110 the Emoji Marbles fan is one of the greatest user I have ever seen on YouTube. No. She mm -hmm. is the most stupid fury player I've ever seen. I mean, user, not player. God freaking darn it. Now what the freaking heck? Her Foxy reacts videos on any users is very full detailed and an absolute masterpiece. They're absolute freaking invalid. Because she cannot handle being called a freaking fury. Her intro is very good. No, her intro is stupid. Six. She makes good posts on her community post. Frick no, she makes stupid crap posts. Very good. Right. It's stupid. Her content on YouTube is really spectacular. And in my thoughts, they're not sp spectacular. Awesome. See, this is real proof of why she used the word hypocrite in the right context. Yeah. Because you uh, yeah, I would love to see him try denying this. For constantly bashing my opinion on her. Shame on you, dude. Shame on you. And shame on you for making up lies about the... And shame on you for denying your wrongdoings. Shame on you for trying to make the panther lover say that I can't be trusted and forgiven, or I'm unforgivable. No, shame on you for being a falsifier of facts. And bruh. I would never say that you can't be trusted or forgiven, because you are not even a criminal. And he's not making up lies about you, dude. <laughs> This is more proof that you're denying your own doings. What the fuck? I do not disrespect people's opinions, you liar. What's up? It's me, Foxy the Fox 110. And welcome to Foxy's Approvals Season 3. Episode 46, and this is another approval on the Panther Lover. Anyways, I know that this commentary of the Panther Lovers is going to rock. Anyways, let's get started. Hello there, my great viewers on YouTube, and welcome back to a brand new commentary video on this channel. Today is November 6, 2023, and for today's commentary for today, this is going to be on GG the November video i am portraying as jackie smith why you may ask is because i think she is a good former secretary of state for the home department oh man this video is gonna get blown up with no support since this video has some lame and poor excuses in this truth video but without the delay let's roll up the video five four three two one go hey guys Gigi back and today, I'm going to do a truth video about Foxy the Fox 110. Okay, start the truth with you. Foxy the Fox 110 is one of the worst furries I have ever seen. Dude, she is not a fur- Exactly. Just because she used to have a fox in her previous profile picture, didn't mean it made her a furry. Exactly. So, this proves that you are judging a book by its cover. Yeah. Now, Exactly. I agree. Because she hates it when people call her that. Yeah. I stand corrected. Let me tell you the reasons why I hate this user. One, she can't handle every single thing like people calling her furry, criticism, and other crap. You are so dumb. You are I agree. Dumb. For real. 
Mike Rooney, handling more... Actually, it's you. Two, she said that CP can be forgiven, when in reality, it cannot because it's a serious crime and you can go to jail. Wow, dude, just freaking wow. You have now brought up her past. Exactly. You know that she totally regrets from saying that CP can be forgiven. Yeah, exactly. You should know that CP shall never be forgiven at any cost. That's what this scumbag gets for freaking with all of us. I'm not a scumbag, dude. You're the only one who's a scumbag. And also, I don't even think, think with you guys, dude, or what you said, just said. Back when so I can see what he said. She can't handle every single thing like people calling her furry, criticism, and other crap. You're so dumb. You are so dumb. For real. Like really. Handle them already. Two. She said that CP can be forgiven when in reality it cannot because it's a serious crime and you can go to jail. Dude, just freaking wow. You have now brought up her past. Exactly. You know that she totally regrets from saying that CP can be forgiven. Yeah, exactly. You know that CP shall never be forgiven at any cost. That's what this scumbag gets for freaking with all of us. I never even freaked with you guys, dude. And I don't care if forgiving CP is from the past because you can. We well, care enough to make this commentary video. Actually, no. Yes. Well, I well now I have more fans. I mean, I mean right now I have more fans than haters because a lot of users lost hatred on me. Three. Even Jesus even even though Paris, I mean even though that some users are now neutral to me, but still. It still means that, it still means that, but I mean, but still, there's, I mean, but still, because they still lost hatred on me, even though some of them are neutral to me. Like the second time no. you have brought up her past. Yeah. I also don't care if supporting Wilson Paris is from the past because. Well, you can't have to make this commentary video. You know that she has already cut T.I.'s with Wilson Paris back yeah. in 2022. And we should all know that Wilson Paris shall never be trusted at yeah. any cost. Good point. But you still suck as hell. Which is last year. Four. She laughed at the disgusting even sell joke of Jella, which is not good at all. Seriously, dude. That was a total mistake. Yeah. Because she didn't even read the community post title correctly. If she did read it correctly. How about you shut the hell up instead? A no reverse card right back at you, you dumb brat. And, and you don't only want you to touch grass. Then she wouldn't have laughed at it. Exactly. Don't you even think about saying that she did it on purpose because she didn't do it on purpose. Yeah. She made a because me and pimp because me and the pimp lover actually do go outside. Stink. Six. She spent comment. So that means you're the one who, the one who needs to touch grass. You're so dumb. You are really Seven. She denies the fact that commentaries, reacts, and responses are the same thing. Eight. She is a troll feeder. Dude, troll feeder is not a real term. Exactly. Nine. Double reason. She denied her wrongdoings and she deleted posts every time people share it. Eleven. She commented in that video on an offensive joke on card. Seriously, an autocorrect. Yeah. Because what she was meant to say was OMFG, not LMO. Exactly. Wow. You seriously can't handle the mistakes. Yeah. 14. Her reaction videos and response videos are commentaries. Why the fuck you lying? Why are you always lying? No, he doesn't, dude. Oh my god. Stop fucking lying. 15. Speaking at the first reason. She cannot handle people ranting on her and doing commentaries on her. Well, 
It's actually the other way around, dude. Read the other way around. This wraps up the truth video, and that's the end. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the bell button so you won't miss a new video. Anyways, this is me, Gigi the November Person 2K10, signing off. Open out. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Stay awesome. Just three more videos, please. What's up? It's me. Fox. Do me a favor. Shut the fuck up. Welcome to my first ever septuple commentary, folks. I don't have any sextuple, nonuple, and decuple commentaries on my channel yet, but for this septuple commentary, I will be doing commentaries on seven videos. And these videos are Foxy the Big One Ten S commentary on my triple commentary, the stupid Panther Lover's commentary on my commentary on Foxy's salute on him, his commentary on my commentary on. Foxy's rant on me, his commentary on my commentary on Foxy's commentary on my truth video on her, his commentary on my commentary on Foxy's commentary on my rant on her, Foxy's commentary on my truth video on her, and Foxy's rant on Adrian the Interruption Channel the Christmas Fan 689. Okay, let's begin with the first video. What's that? It's me, Foxy the Fox 110. And welcome to Foxy Response, Season 2, Episode 41. And this Foxy Response is going to be on JG's Triple Commentary on me. Anyways, before we get started, I just want to say, don't attack this user or witch hunt him anything. No, anyways, let's get started. I stand corrected. 
I can't handle because them do most certainly not Foxy. I can't handle because you spam rants on people you hate. Dude, I rant on them for good reasons. I don't spam rant. Well, I do rant on people for good reasons, dude. on them, dude. I upload rant video. I make rant videos and upload them when I feel like it. Even commentaries on them, including me. I don't even spam them. No, I don't. Videos, dude, because if I did, I'd be uploading some of them in a short period of time. Spam's commentaries on rants. Commentaries. Just, I don't even spam them, dude. No, I don't. Because if I did, I'd be uploading some of them in a short period of time. Slanders. When you have any of the just commentaries on them. I'm not dumb. You are dumb. You scoundrel. Dude, the pimple up is not dumb. Also, dude, I don't spam rant videos because I only upload rant videos when I feel like it. And when I do upload rant videos when I feel like it, there's only one, one rant video. Because he called me dumb for speaking the truth about you. You're not even speaking the truth about me, dude. Go back a minute. Dude, I'm dumb. You are dumb. You're Well, yes, he is. No, he's not. Because he called me dumb for speaking the truth about you. You're not even speaking the truth about me. Well, what I'm saying is, you were not even speaking the truth about me. Guess what? What the you nasty bitch? I don't know. What I'm saying, you. I was basically say, saying that you were not speaking the truth about, about me. Guess what? So I was basically in, responding to what you were saying. So what I mean by is, by that is You don't speak about the truth about me in general. I mean, you don't even speak the truth about me in general. Yeah, and that goes for your truth video on me. Or should I say your quote unquote truth video on me? Alright everyone, this is the end of the first part of my first response episode of season 6, and part 2 of this episode will be coming tomorrow, and it will be the next one hour long, so, I will see you all tomorrow in the next part, farewell. Okay everyone, here is part 2, which will be the next one hour long, so, let us now continue on where we have left off with so far. Just forgot to respond, but no. Paris back in 2022, and we should all know that Wilson Paris shall never be trusted at any cost. Good point, but you still suck as hell. Because last year, she acted the disgusting as that joke. Nah, you actually gave one. 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 Nah, you
she did it on purpose because she didn't do it on purpose. She made a mistake. Yeah. How about yeah? Just forgot to respond, but yes they are. No dude, they were not valid. They were actually invalid. Thank you all for watching. Until then, over and out. What's up? It's me. Foxy to Fox 
No, I don't. Oh my freaking god. I had enough of hearing this stupid cookie cutter crap over and over again. So let's just speed it up so I won't repeat myself anymore. Well, this will prove that you can't handle the truth that I am saying to you. Excuse me. Stop going. Shut the fuck up, you nasty Don't deny it. Don't Okay everyone, 
This is the end of part one of this response episode, and part two of this response episode will be coming tomorrow, and it will be the next one hour and 40 minutes long. Oh, and Alfie Law, if you're watching this, don't you dare share this video just because I use the chill girl, CapCut TTS voice for Tony Braxton. Well anyways, I will see you all in part two.